In this video, I'm using LEGO to recreate some of the coolest scenes from Avatar The Last Airbender. From Aang waking up to all of his adventures and the final showdown with Ozai. Now let's build. So I went on the internet and bought these custom LEGO Avatar minifigures. And they come with these cool accessories like a boomerang, water, and Zuko can even bend fire. But that's an illegal building technique, so watch out! And now, I'm gonna build the scene where Katara and Sokka are fishing. So I made some icy water with a bunch of ice around them. Then I added Sokka and Katara to the boat, and Katara is almost catching a fish. Then they crash the boat and end up on this plateau. And suddenly, they discover Aang in some ice, and Katara removes him from his time machine and wakes him up. Now we need to build Appa. So I built his body and head and you can open and close his mouth. And I also turned him into this worm. Yeah, he's gonna need some legs. Then I added his legs and built the rest. And now the Sky Bison is finished. But his eyes are missing. So I added these Lego eyes which look a bit cursed. Appa is designed by Axidroid, so credits to him. Aang wants to go penguin sledding. So I grabbed some pieces and built this cursed penguin. Yeah, I never build animals. Then I grabbed all of my white slopes and built this gigantic ramp. So Aang and Katara slide down this ramp and have a fun time. But when they return to the village, Zuko is there. So I grabbed the instruction of the original Fire Nation ship and turned it into my own version with more details and less blockiness. And since I don't have every part, I came up with my own techniques and turned it into a W set. It even looks better than the original set, boys. On the deck, we can find Zuko and he is not bold like in the set, but he has this hair piece. Yeah, it's the best I can make. Then behind him, there's Uncle Iroh drinking some tea and playing a game of cards. Zuko notices the big light beam in the air, so he takes Aang prisoner. But when he wants to throw him in jail, Aang escapes. In the meantime, Sokka and Katara are riding Appa on water. But how do they make Appa fly? Was it Yip Yip? Ah, that worked. So Suko is fighting Aang, and when he enters his avatar state, he washes Suko off the deck with the tidal wave and escapes on Appa. The gang is flying in the air, and Aang wants to go to the Southern Air Temple. So they go there, and the temple looks quite abandoned. Aang enters, but then he sees his dead master, Gyatso, and he's devastated and enters the avatar state. And Katara and Sokka calm him down. He realizes he's the last airbender and needs to master all the four elements. Next up, they travel to a Mashu and Aang remembers sliding the delivery system. So I built this and now they can slide down. And I also built the cart from the Cabbage Guy, which is hilarious. So now they can slide down and destroy the cart. Let's go! A while later, Katara and Sokka get sick and Aang looks for a treatment, but then he gets captured by Zhao. A mysterious guy with a blue mask saves him. Aang escapes and he gives toads to his sick friends and they turn brown and they are better. So now they're able to travel to the North Pole and Aang learns a lot more about waterbending. And he enters a meditative state, but then Suko captures him. He's saved by Katara and Sokka, but when they return, Zhao kills the moon spirit and Aang turns into a big fish. Luckily, Yue turns herself into a fish and saves the day. So Zuko and Iroh meet Azula and they get invited to go back home. But when they arrive on the ship, they almost get captured. So they fight back. Azula knocks Zuko back and almost roasts him with lightning. But then Iroh redirects it and Zuko kicks her off the ship. So now she has to go for a swim. Zuko and Iroh go into the forest. So I built this and added two of these cool trees and now they cut their hair because they don't have any money to go to the barber. Let's skip to Team Avatar sitting in this cool green stadium where they see some cool fights. Next up, Toph will fight against this very strong dude. Anyway, he got wrecked and now Aang wants to talk to Toph. But she attacks him so he fights back and wins the tournament. After running away, Toph joins Team Avatar and now she can teach Aang earthbending. So that's what we're building next. I built this rock formation and some landscaping to portray the scene where Aang must stop the boulder. Katara is frightened, but hold up, where's Sokka? Oh, he's kinda buried. Okay, back to Aang. 3, 2, 1, go! Yeah, that must have hurt. Also, if you want to get these epic minifigures, get them from Minifigs Me by using my referral link. Now back to the video. Meanwhile, Iroh and Zuko are in the desert, and Zuko finally grew back some hair. Iroh's teaching him how to redirect lightning, and after a lot of begging, Iroh blasts him with lightning. Yeah, that's not what happened. <laughs> so next up, Team Avatar travels to the desert and leaves Toph with Appa. They enter Wan Chi Tong's library, and they meet the owl. I built him by making this base with two wings and his cursed head. Yeah, he looks like a child's toy. I never build animals in Lego, okay? So leave me alone. Next up, they go to discover the planetary calendar room for which I built this round floor and added a table. Sokka learns about the solar eclipse and wants to use it to their advantage. But then the owl appears and tries to kill them. Even worse, Appa is gone and they have no water. So Sokka drinks some cactus juice and starts seeing some pretty weird stuff. So next up, the gang arrives at Ba Sing Se and I want to build the big Fire Nation drill. So I made this of the drill with some Technic stuff on the inside and made the rest of the drill by using this technique with 1x2 bricks and studs. So the drill is finished, but let's see if it works. 
Okay, so it actually works. Put Azula on top, and now we can attack Bossing Sing. So I grabbed all of my pieces and built this giant wall. Ang tries to stop the drill, and Azula fights him. But then Ang summons this big rock, runs up the wall, and jumps on top of it to destroy the drill. Back to Suko. He enters this prison which I've built and discovers Appa. He cuts him loose, and now Appa can reunite with Team Avatar. Unfortunately, Azula takes control of Ba Sing Se and now throws Suko in prison. So I built this rocky cave with a bunch of trans green parts and some emeralds. Emeralds. Katara is also imprisoned and she wants to heal Zuko. Then Aang and Iroh show up and Iroh tells Zuko to choose good, but he joins Azula and fights the good guys. Aang enters the Avatar state and is hit by lightning. They escape on Appa and Katara heals Aang. So now we're entering book 3, so let's go. Aang wakes up in a bed on a Fire Nation ship and look, he has hair! The next scene I want to build is the invasion of the Fire Nation, and in particular, where no one is in the palace and Azula is a distraction. So I built this throne and added Azula to it. On the other side, there's Aang and his friends. Meanwhile, Zuko finds his father and tells him he will help the Avatar. His dad doesn't like the sound of that, so he shoots lightning at him. But wait, Zuko redirects it and disappears. Another fun thing I wanted to build is Iroh's escape from prison. So I built this small prison, and now Iroh can do some push-ups and get ripped. Oh no, where did he go? So now that Zuko is the good guy, he wants to join Team Avatar. Avatar, so he finds them, but they aren't too convinced. Zuko joins the gang and he teaches Aang how to master firebending. For this, I built Ozai's beach house with a staircase and a small building, where we see Aang and Zuko firebending, and I loved this scene as a kid. Alright, so Aang mastered all four elements, but before I built the final battle, I want to build some other scenes. The first one is Zuko talking to Sokka and his balloon. So I built this small cart and added a red balloon. This is just like the scene in the series. The final scene has something to do with this tent, so Zuko enters it and... Oh yeah, okay. I think we need to leave before it becomes too hot in here when Tsuki arrives. So now that we had some special mentions, onto the final battles. For the battle between Azula, Zuko, and Katara, I built this Chinese looking house with some nice details and Azula shooting some lightning at Katara. Luckily Zuko jumps in front of her, but that doesn't really help him. Now, Katara must face Azula alone. They fight, and Katara freezes Azula in water, and puts her in chains. And now let's build the final battle between Aang and Ozai. So I made this large pillar, which was quite hard to design because of my lack of pieces. But it looks nice. So I added Aang in the air, and he's in his avatar state. I also added Ozai, but with a yellow six-pack, unlike in the series, because I don't have a flesh tone one, okay? Leave me alone. So now we can have the Fire Lord and Aang fight. Aang and Ozai fight each other, and Aang almost kills him. Then then he decides to spare him. Ozai wants to sneak attack him, but Aang takes away his powers and the world is safe. And with that, we've built the summarized version of Avatar The Last Airbender in LEGO. These were some of my favorite scenes, so I hope you enjoyed, and if I missed anything, just let me know, and maybe I'll build it. And I challenge all of you to build your favorite scene from Avatar The Last Airbender in LEGO, and submit it to my Instagram and I'll post the best 5 ones on there. So good luck boys and girls. Also, if you want to get these cool Avatar minifigures, go buy them through my link. And I'll see you in the next video.